Well, it is day number five of the Daniel Fast, and if you've been checking out here on my blog throughout the week, I've been talking a little bit about uh, some of the stuff that, uh, that I've been going through through the, uh, the Daniel Fast, and then uh, talking about some of the stuff that maybe God's been showing me. I'd love to hear some of the stories that, that God's been, sh- uh, been showing you, um, things he's been showing you. I can't talk right. Uh, no Diet Coke. Um, but I uh, would love to hear some of the, the insights that maybe God's been showing you. have been reading through the book of Acts. We've been talking about uh, some of the, the interesting things as you go through here. And would love to just hear what, what God's been showing you. I do believe that God has the ability to speak to you. It's not just like the pastor hears from God, but, but uh, I believe the same spirit uh, that was living within Jesus is living within you. And you have the ability to hear from your Heavenly Father. So I'd love to hear uh, maybe some of the insights and things that God's been showing you about yourself personally, about uh, about the, the, the church, or maybe even about about Him, some things that He's been showing you about who He is and how much He, uh, he loves you, stuff like that. So I'd love to hear those. Uh, shoot those to stories at canthisbechurch.com. Again, stories at canthisbechurch.com. Or you can Twitter me, Facebook me. Email me all the different ways of communication. You can uh, you can do those. Uh, I won't be uh, posting anything tomorrow, Saturday, probably not Sunday. I usually try to take a technology fast on the weekends where I I don't turn my cell phone on, I don't Twitter, uh, don't turn my laptop on. Uh, so I encourage you to maybe take a technology fast this weekend too, as you're doing the Daniel fast and partaking or not partaking of of some things. Uh, maybe even. Take that to another level and maybe not partake of technology this weekend. So just my uh, my challenge. I do watch TV. I watch college football, so don't want you to take that too far. Uh, we're going to be talking, uh, let's see, day five. We're going to be reading uh, Acts chapter, uh, was it, 9 and 10. Uh, and then we're going to be praying for a friend that you know that needs to be at the Sun Coast. Pray that God would move in their hearts and give you the opportunity to invite them. Ask that God would give you the courage to just go for the ask. Uh, and so I'm going to be praying um, some people in my life that I know need to be at church and uh, be praying for the people that you're going to be praying about as well. Day 6, tomorrow Saturday, read Acts chapter 11 and 12, and we're going to be talking about uh, or praying for the volunteers at the Sun Coast to make this place go each week. Pray that God would bless them the time they give up. Pray they'd be encouraged and pray uh, about how you can encourage one of the volunteers on Sunday and then do it. If you uh, don't currently volunteer somewhere at the Sun Coast, man, I'm telling you, uh, pray that God would show you just one person that does volunteer and how you could encourage them. Maybe just a handwritten note. Maybe it's a pat on the back. Maybe you go and buy them a Starbucks gift card and bring it on Sunday. Wait, that would be a cruel joke because we're not doing caffeine right now. Okay, so maybe uh, give it to them the next week, but but you you get the point. Uh, Pray that God would show you some way to encourage the awesome volunteers. Uh, that we have at the at the Sun Coast. Then on uh, Sunday, read Acts chapter 13 and 14. And then uh, I'm just asking you guys to pray for me as I bring the message. Uh, pray for Cheryl and I that our marriage will be strong and healthy and pray that God gives me wisdom and uh, audacious faith and courage as your pastor. I, I, I covet your prayers, guys. Um, it, it means the world to me that you would take some time out of your day to actually stop and, and pray for me. So that's the next few days. Probably won't see me on in my blog again until Monday. But just wanted to encourage you as you head into the weekend. I know for me personally, the weekend's the time that I usually kind of relax on the stuff that I've been eating. It's a time that Cheryl and I have date night on a Friday that we go out and get, you know, some kind of great meal somewhere. Uh, to me, uh, food is just kind of synonymous with the weekend. So I'm a little bummed this weekend because I'm not going to be enjoying the food. But I hope that you guys will continue to hang in there. And uh, if you've if you've dropped the ball along the way, I encourage you to get back up and uh, give it a go this weekend. And uh, be willing to humble yourself before God and and hunger for Him. Let the hunger that you go through remind you of how much uh, you want to know Him better and how much you want Him to speak to you through this fast. Um, don't have any big insights to share with you today, so I uh, would love to hear what you guys um, have been hearing from your Heavenly Father. So shoot those over to me. You guys have a great weekend. Let me pray for you, and uh, I'll see you on Sunday. God I pray for the people that are uh, doing the Daniel fast, God. I pray that you be with them. I pray that you encourage them. I pray that uh, that you give them the strength to say no to some of the the things on the weekends that are a little easier to want to to dive into. So, God, give us the strength to make it through this weekend. And through this, show us what faith is all about. Stretch our faith. Build our faith. Show us how uh, when our faith meets your faithfulness, that's when we experience you. So may we experience you this weekend. It's in Jesus' name that we pray. Amen.
All right, guys, I'll see you on Sunday morning at 1030 for the second part of I Love My Church. See you guys then.